crime scene was, uh, where uh, this illegal activity was taking place and we saw the chemist uh, and we were briefed uh, by, by, by the forensics uh, on, on possibly what happened. Um, and um, we, we even witnessed uh, other activities that were taking place there, which uh, basically means uh, people were doing an illegal business there. Um, and unfortunately, it harmed uh, 16 people. The youngest being one o'clock, uh, a one year old. It was just um, heartbreaking to see that one year old. Um, so we've asked the police uh, to then take over the scene, of which they've done. Uh, they've given me an update uh, this morning. Um, and the numbers are revised to 17. Uh, there's another person that passed at the hospital, that four that are in a critical condition, and the other 11 people that are in various wards. We'll be visiting the hospital now after we, uh, we leave here. Um, the cost is indeed something that uh, only professionals and experts can uh, explicitly explain it. Uh, uh, but it's quite clear it's, uh, it's a case in I've seen it. Uh, and there were others that were still on the scene. Um, yes. I hope uh, the, uh, the, the, the forensic teams have removed them because I was very, very worried that they may also explode because they, there were quite a couple of them there. Um, so we, we want, on behalf of government, uh, both national government, provincial government, and local government, to extend our sincere condolences to the family, uh, to all the families that are affected. Um, it's a tragic, tragic, tragic day. Um, event and uh, we, we we are asking ourselves, you know, it's the second time that we come to this area of Box Bay uh, with something similar to this. So at least we have learned from uh, 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 the previous blast. So our systems, I must be honest, uh, this time uh, we're, 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 we're on path and um, they responded the way we advised them and the lessons we have learned from the previous uh, explosion. Uh, we just need, just that's a difficult area here, we just need to, to find a way of um, accounting for everyone uh, and getting the necessary data, just to be sure indeed the numbers that we have are the actual numbers. Because uh, <clears throat> when we were here last night, because that area is surrounded by m many informal settlements, so you don't know, there might be other people inside the yes. house that yeah. either have inhaled, because we don't have the capacity and the system to... So I've asked the team just to be sure, but I'm glad the feedback that we have, we've not uh, found reports of somebody that is missing or reports of somebody that is passed on. So we are strongly monitoring the situation. Uh, we keep our eye, we've asked our uh, experts to remain here and then we'll meet with the community leaders uh, just to check what are the things that they need us to do. Sure. Premier, you know, I end up in <coughs> Newsroom Africa. It's an all too familiar site. You know, many people will yeah. say it's actually the same script with just a different cast. Yeah. Illegal mining in the country being so pervasive and ultimately costing lives. I mean, the residents who we've spoken to here say it's known that this area has illegal mining activities, but sadly, we only respond when the worst thing has happened, when people die. We are under siege. I've said it, uh, and I've presented this to uh, those that are leading our law enforcement capabilities. We are using outdated law enforcement mechanism in a new era that new, need, need new form of law enforcement. They've painted it. Uh, and I know people are saying bring the army. The process of bringing the army in this country uh, is a prolonged process. The president must announce, must go to cabinet, opposition parties must comment. The budget must be approved by a certain committee in parliament, and when they come, those army, they escort the police. They are part of the activities. We just have to overhaul our law enforcement uh, response. And this thing of illegal mining is completely out of control. We have said it. So I share your frustration. Actually, I'm frustrated. I'm of the view that uh, we just need a specialized, specialized way of training our law enforcement. They try. I mean, yesterday they briefed us. Uh, how they themselves comes under attack, yes. how, how the firepower uh, of the illegal miners uh, and the resources that they have that they feel that is not uh, appropriately coordinated or the support systems are not uh, at the level that they can confront this. Thing. No one disputes that. Uh, and I agree with you. Uh, now that we've got 16 people that have died, we'll say the same thing, but I'm, I'm, I'm of the story. And it's not this only. How many people are kidnapped in our province literally every day? How many people are killed on highways? How many people are kidnapped in their own houses, robbed and things? So 
if we, if as a province and uh, with the support of the national government, if we can't confront crime, lawlessness, and corruption head on, and have the resources that are needed to deal with this thing, I'm not going to. I mean, we have put four billion rands as a province uh, just to fight crime. It's not enough. Uh, uh, we want to increase it to almost eight billion. But we can't do that because the laws, the limitations, the thing provinces can do, the thing local government can do, the thing national government can do. But if we don't have a coordinated approach to confront this lawlessness, I mean, it's not this area. You go to Florida, you go to Western. Uh, I mean, there are areas even here where the roads were completely closed because uh, we couldn't go to other areas. There are no go areas. So. I, I share your frustration sure. more than you can even express it because we are dealing with this situation literally every day. And I'm calling for a complete, complete new strategy in confronting this thing. A strategy that is well resourced and the capabilities of our law enforcement agencies that are at the higher level and the, the need to respond in a manner that is if you are in a war zone. The figures uh, indicate that you are under siege and we have to respond. We are guided by uh, forensics teams because it's still a crime scene, so they, they, they needed to balance the two uh, of ensuring that they gather the evidence, uh, possibly for an inquest that is going to be opened, but also they needed to save lives. Uh, so where we are, we are of the view that they've done that. Uh, they've tried to ensure that those cylinders that are still there cannot either explode or they cannot harm people further. So. We'll get the report because last night when we, we, we left here, or early hours of this morning when we left here, they were still working on those issues. Um, so, so, so we'll get that report. In terms of uh, those that are injured, I said four are critical. Uh, unfortunately, one uh, passed on last night. Uh, that's why the figures now are 17. Uh, and there are almost 11 uh, that are at various uh, levels um, of, 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 of injuries. And uh, the team at the hospitals, uh, at the hospital. Uh, they've briefed us, they gave me the latest briefing this morning. Uh, there are others that are, are still, uh, 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 they still need uh, immediate medical assistance, but there are others that they think they will, dis they will be discharged later on today. Another question to have from this 24. What's your response to allocation that those case uh, cylinders were stolen from a nearby factory and how many of you retrieved the state department? I don't, have, I, I don't have that information. I think we're just on rescuing lives uh, last night. Uh, we, we, we are only going to, we can inc include that aspect uh, immediately because uh, we're going to be briefed by law enforcement agencies and we can check that information. Okay, I'd like to ask, um, where is the cost? Um, did any of them some examples? I don't have the profile. Yes, yeah. uh, I don't have the profile uh, whether they, they, they are. Um, the scene was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. Uh, I, I regretted why we have to go through that scene. Uh, it, it was heartbreaking. Uh, so, so it's something that uh, uh, we might need assistance personally because it wasn't. The bodies were scattered literally everywhere. Um, and I, I want to thank our team because they know exactly where each body was. Um, and they know exactly how uh, that particular body arrived where it was. So I thought initially it was just an explosion in one area, but uh, you can see people were running away from the scene, mm -hmm. uh, and then they started to fall uh, as, as they trying to get uh, uh, areas where they can escape. You know, the devastation you described, Premier, is so <coughs> palpable this morning. Yeah. We've got people, part of our team, who are there. People have lost brothers, um, husbands, you name it. Um, and there's questions about what happens for them next. I mean, you know, it's hard to believe that they'll be expected to stay here given what's happened and given how that gas may still very well still be you know, lingering somewhere and pose a threat to their lives? Well, the issue of human settlement in our province, and, and we don't have to blame uh, people that are coming to our area, uh, in, in, in particular to our province. I always say to our people uh, and those that are doing human settlement planning, I don't hate people that want to come to our area. Actually, uh, I really believe we should appreciate that. It means we're doing something good, we're creating opportunities and other things. We just have to manage uh, 
the informal settlement. Uh, and I'm glad uh, at the state of the city, uh, uh, the mayor outlined what we have outlined as a problem. But the priority of this government that one has the honor to lead is to improve townships, informal settlements and hostels. We've placed that on record. But if you can improve our townships that are deteriorating, you can improve our informal settlements the way they are. This human, informal settlement are not fit for human consumption. We just have to put resources as government on how best to do it. And we, the problem that we have is not a solution that must come from the West. And it must come from us. So we need architectures that can say, how do we develop an area when people are still staying there? Uh, do we have those expertise? And we've been hunting for those expertise because this area, you, people want to be here and they want to stay here and we have to develop and they're still here. There's a problem of water, there's a problem of electricity, there's a problem mm. of sanitation, and the problem of safety. So, so I share all this frustration, but we've got plans. Uh, the teams are working on how best to improve our informal settlements and our hostels. Cold consolation, though, Premier, for people who, again, yeah, okay. this is not new. Yeah. This is not something that started yesterday. And in some instances, they feel like they've been trying to raise it for quite some time. It took this devastation for you to be here. It's a collective uh, responsibility that I duly accept the one that comes from government. Uh, I mean, people are doing an illegal activity here. Uh, inside, not in a secluded area, in the middle of uh, 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 where people stay. So, so I don't think that we have encouraged that. Uh, and that is why I'm saying the law enforcement agencies, the people that are involved there, we should have stopped that. But I don't want to apportion blame. I don't want to hide behind a broomstick as government. We have a share of our responsibility that we should shoulder and we should confront it head on and confront this community. That's why I'm, I'm prepared even to meet with the community leaders. We can't just leave it. Uh, but as I said, law enforcement agencies are the only, 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 uh, 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 is the only sector that can assist us to ensure that we push mm. back this kind of activities. And we need firepower. I can tell you, we need firepower. Uh, and firepower from the air, firepower from technology, satellites. We have to, if people get out of those illegal mines and come to the surface, we need to have technology that can pick them up. And we need to have the firepower from the law enforcement agencies to push back those people. And we need to know where these activities are taking place and go there and close them down. And we can't do that uh, with uh, a naked eye and do that with uh, the kind of resources that we have. This situation has gone beyond the capable of the capacity or the resources that we have uh, to fight this thing. We need a new thinking. And I've said it. Yeah. Uh, we just have to overhaul uh, our law enforcement strategies from dealing with uh, this summer. And to be clear, Premier, you're saying government currently is unable to relocate. I don't Some think we've got the resources to confront it and the strategies to confront it. They are there, but I, I mean, if. As you said, it's the same script every time you come. It's with, uh, uh, um, and, and I mean, you check what people of Deep Sloot are saying. Uh, the challenges that are having in Deep Sloot. And it's not Deep Sloot alone. Uh, you go to every community. This kind of crime uh, 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 is, is creating problems. So how are we resourced as government? We are putting 4.5 billion as how they on the table. We are not just because we know we need technology. And we know we need cars. And we know we need human uh, capability. We know we need all these things. But you can't do that if we are not coordinating our efforts as, as, as government. Uh, but I, I don't want to, 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 to sound as if I'm saying the police are not. They're doing their best. And I'm, I'm just worried that we're exposing them because they're confronted with a situation uh, that is well-resourced, well-connected, and it has the firepower um, that, that can really create problems for all of us. We just have to capacitate the police to respond with the necessary firepower, if not beyond. Can I just ask, um, in terms of those that are in hospital, do any of them include minors? Do you know? Uh, I, have, I don't have the ages. I, I, I can quickly check from the report that was sent uh, this morning. Uh, let me, if you don't mind, I can just check uh, uh, if... Yes, yes. Uh, they say in you know, order 12, there are three children. Uh, their ages, two of them are, are, are four years and one is nine. Uh, that's, that's what we have. And in order 16, they have one female and three males. All are awake, breathing on their own. In order 20, we've got one female 
on oxygen, awake and talking. And uh, there are five adults that were later admitted this morning. Uh, there's one that is uh, under oxygen, uh, and there's one that, uh, as I said, unfortunately passed on. And those that are with the hospital, the total amount and uh, number is 11. That's, yeah. that's, that's the figures yes. that I got this morning. There are articles that uh, some community members raised concerns uh, to the police about a foul smell that they didn't act uh, uh, upon uh, uh, you know, those uh, reports. Well, for, for, for now, I'm, I'm going to meet with the police now. Uh, uh, we, we'll, we'll deposit that concern as well uh, and, and check indeed if this was reported. But when I came here last night, the smell was hanging on, yes. uh, was still up in the sky. Uh, so we just need to find a way that uh, we can verify those allegations. So the area has been declared safe for now. I mean, there's a lot yeah. of community members out and about. Uh, are you satisfied that the area is safe and the will be no further flare-up or whatever the case might be. That's why I asked the question about the gas cylinders that are still there.
Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, buddy. So, very clear more. If you not sell this seven, if you not sell seven, or the car to shower mush, whatever the ragged more, it ragged is wrong. Let her hold in Yaka, let's catch our with Salusi Java, let the lamp be or bar seven. So that the second revolution is wrong. Begile mo mawa ni bushiro. Sese de la reti mo se se kushapo, se kushapo. Ndi ati pa le naga lidula mo every day. Kile na le tiba mo 
the pain more than we know. So, so we 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 are just here to assure you that uh, uh, we want to listen to our issues and attend to those issues. But uh, please accept our condolences. Uh, this is sad and this is bad. And uh, I'll report it formally to the leadership of government so that we will not be too shy to talk about are we together? Yes. yes, yes. yes. No, no. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I get I Good. I'm thinking 100%. Not No, 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 this better is Tambo Memorial, Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay.
Det er slående ikke bare det, det slående der.
Please know you. Yes. yes. Maybe the, the people who are staying here. They are not staying here. Uh, this is really bad. I can tell this is really bad. <laughs> Which language must I use? English. Okay, a little bit. How do you make our friend? Yeah, it's okay. Ah, la la. Oh, but look at TV. Can I, can I, can I get your name, please? My name is Johannes. Can, can, can you give me your name, please? It's Johannes. Johannes. Yes. J-O-N-O-R-A. It's J-O-N-O-R-A. H A double N E S A double N E S Machola Yes L A Yes Okay. Actually, this is very, very bad. The thing that had happened, the loss of the lives of the people. Real, this is bad. For now, they are traumatized. Okay, they are traumatized for now. So we don't know actually how are they going to react immediately after this. We don't know. But everybody is there looking and watching what is going to what what is happening in that side. You know, I don't think at the same time. We really need a help from the cops. If the cops did arrive, you know, or coming to this side in order to assist every time and then, when they, these people that are staying here looking for their help, because the people that uh, open up that gas are not even staying here, understand what I mean? So that's a serious problem. So uh, the people that open up the gas, who are they? Uh, and can you explain uh, who are they and uh, who do you think they are? I don't even have a clue. Because we are, we are unable to can enter that place for now, but the cops are there. Even the leaders of this area, they are also that side. Thank you.